Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Anybody there? All right. Good morning, Roberta. Good morning, Kim. How are you guys? Excellent. Thumbs up. What's going on? Oh, Leslie. Good morning again. So Leslie and I have already worked out this morning. We have already done some power yoga. Good morning, Barb. Good morning, Carol. So what you're going to need for this morning is a um, set of weights and let's see, um, yeah, a set of weights. You could use uh, just something heavy, maybe a large book. Uh, Leslie, I don't know if you have weights at home, um, but... Um, uh, maybe something just heavy to hold on to, um, a band, stretchy band would be fine uh, for some of the moves. So uh, what we do is three sets, uh, one minute each, and I was going to do something different with the phone and try to use this timer thing, but um, I didn't get it all set up in time, so... You know, I just don't have enough time in this whole quarantine thing. I'm just so busy. Anyways, okay. Um, why am I standing up? I don't know. Because we're going to start laying down. We're going to do our abs to warm up. Because that's just the most efficient way to get ourselves warmed up. So let's lay down. Let's get everything started. So get your watches set if you need to get your... Um, workout counted for whatever calories you're going to eat for the rest of the day and let's lay on down and let's just bring one knee in extend the other leg out and then just switch so let's just do a nice slow bicycle just to get those legs warmed up your upper body off the mat if you can so I quickly just ate breakfast so if I have to bar for anything, I'll try to do it off camera or just look away if it happens. So just extend that leg out, bring the other knee in and try to let your legs hang off the floor a little bit. So hover. Breathe. A couple more times. Really extend those legs away. Bring the knees in. So you're stretching and warming up your legs all at the same time. All right, then your head back down on the floor. Arms out to the side. Knees up over your hips. And just drop your knees about halfway to one side. Bring them up to center, down to the other side, and up to center, and then just side to side. So if it's too much to keep your feet off the floor, you can put them back down. If you want to extend your legs all the way straight, you can do that. Remembering always that the longer the levers are, the shorter your range of motion is going to be. But you should feel it in your side waist, those oblique muscles. Try to use your exhale breath to bring those legs back up. All right, two more times on each side. One more time each side. All 
All right, feet down on the mat or floor, knees bent, hands behind your head. Just basic crunch, just up and down. Lifting your shoulder blades off the mat. Looking up at the ceiling, not through your legs. So try to reduce that space between your sh uh, bottom of your rib cage and your waist. Lift up and down. Exhaling through your lips as you raise up and inhaling as you lower back down. All right, let's just do four more. Three, two, and one. All right, let's roll over onto one side. You're gonna kind of split yourself um, at your hips, so kind of take your feet a little bit forward so you're kind of on a little bit of an angle at your hip. You can be up on your elbow or laying down completely. Your top leg is just gonna go up and down. So just warming up the outer thighs. So you can point your toe or flex your foot, whatever feels good for you. Maybe do it both ways a couple of times, feel the difference. With that heel extended away, you're gonna feel it more in your hip. Let's do four, three, two, and one. And let's leave it up there. Let's hold it up there. So have you heard about this song that's out there on YouTube called Bring It Up Sally or Bring It Down Sally or something where you squat up when they say bring it up Sally and you go down when they say bring it down and you just do it for like five minutes squatting. Are you holding the leg up? You feel it right there? Four, three, two, and one. Other side. So once you get over there, just start lifting that top leg up and down. So a little split at your hip. It already is going to start to feel fatigued right away. It's because you did the other side and you're still using all those muscles. But you should get on YouTube and Google Sally Squats and do that later today because it's kind of a fun little workout. You can do it with squats. You can do it with push-ups. All right, let's hold the leg up. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Let me look over there to see what the first thing is. So our first exercise of our three rounds are gonna be wood chops. So you're gonna, gonna need one weight. Not yet though, we're still holding that leg up. Don't lower it down, in fact, lift it up a little higher. Four, three, two, one, lower down, stand on up. All right, so wood chops. So while you're standing up, while you're getting your stuff, I'll show you what we're doing. You're gonna, oh man, that hurts my hips. We're gonna come down and do a squat and you're gonna push up. So you're gonna turn that foot a little bit out your left heel or your right heel. Oh my God, my, everything's gonna be off. You're gonna come down squat and up. All right, so let's go in 10 seconds. So it's a minute, 30 seconds on each side. In five, four, three, two, go. Down and up. Try not to hit any lights. Try to squat down as you're looking forward. 
You don't have to go fast. I'd rather you get the movement correct. So it's a little twist. You have about one more and then you're going to switch sides. So down to the left, bring that weight up to the right. Exhaling as you push up. 15 seconds. So I think I gathered from last time, you guys want a little bit more cardio. One more time. All right, down with the weight on the floor, mountain climbers. In three, two, one, go. One minute at any point. You want to just hold a plank? Feel free. You don't have to go fast. We have a minute of these. So feel free, maybe do eight. Drop on your knees, hold a plank for a couple of seconds. Try not to hurl. Oh my God. How can I already be this tired? Maybe I'll just watch your form. Oh my God, you guys look great. You look awesome. Keep it going. How about 10 more seconds? Bring those knees up. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Stand up. Okay, alternating twisting lunges, one weight. Same weight you use probably. We're gonna keep it here, twist, here and here. Here, 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 let's go. Just alternate. You do not have to use a weight. You do not have to go fast. I'd rather you have good form once again. So again, we got eight exercises. And then we take about a two minute break and we do them again. Forward, twist. So complete that whole twist. You got, oh, let's just go five more seconds. So one time on each side. All right, tricep extensions. That same weight, you're gonna go overhead. You could do dips if you want. I can't remember if Joyce is on here or not. So feel free to do dips, extensions. Let's go. If you want to try to come up on your toes and add a little balance, feel free to do that. Keep your elbows in and breathe. Make sure you have nice posture, nice long spine. You're dropping that weight all the way down, all the way up. More than halfway. Ooh, come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one. All right, two weights. Moving from the back of the arms to the front of the arms. So we have squats, bicep curls, and shoulder presses. In three, two, one. Squat, curl, press. Then finish the curl right here. All right, come on. It's already 15 seconds. 
You can come up on those toes again if you want. Working those calves, reaching high with the weights. My favorite exercise. It is so good. It's got almost every single muscle in your body working. 15 seconds. Ten. Four seconds. One more time. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh. Push ups in five seconds. Hands wide for your chest, knees or toes. One minute. Go. Make sure you feel it in your chest. So I'm on my knees, but I feel it in my chest. My chest is coming down over my hands and not behind. So it's not here where your ch shoulders would be doing the work. You're coming down and forward. Exhaling as you press up. 22 seconds. Ten. Three, two, and one. Up you go. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Okay. Two weights again. Holding them in your hands, you have crouching rows. Where else are you going to hold your weights, right? So you're going to alternate feet here, 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 press back. Let's go. So here, up, down, and back. Forward, a little crouch. So it's not a lunge. It's just a little step forward. A bend of your front knee as you pull those weights up to your chest using your back muscles. Weight on that front foot. Oh my gosh, this goes so by goes by so fast. 20 seconds. Five seconds. All right. Down on the floor, one weight. So, Russian twists. Ball here, feet on the floor or off. We're just going to twist side to side. Let's go. So, lean back enough that you feel your core engage, the twist at your waist. You don't have to use a weight at all, especially if it feels too heavy. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale through your lips. Come on, 20 seconds. Last exercise, you get a break right in 15 seconds. But you should be warming up your fingers to type me a little note as to how you're feeling. All right, take your break. Okay, 21. All right, how are we doing? Let's see who's here with me. Oh, Beth is here. Karen is here. It is amazing, Karen, how long one minute lasts. 
Yes, it is. All right, how are we doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down, smiles, hugs, because everybody knows how much I love to hug. It's the best thing about this quarantine. Whew. For me anyways, because I hate hugging. Yeah, Roberta Wowza is right. When I'm exhausted after the first two mountain climbers, which were only the second exercise, that's not good. But what else do we have to do, right? So I'm looking out the window. There's this woman who walks in our neighborhood. And I swear to God, you could be driving your golf cart on one side of the road and she's on the other. And she gets way off the grass. Like, I'm going to, I mean, she takes like the 40-yard social distancing thing. 30 seconds. Like, I'm going to spit on her or something. I don't know, but she's weird. She doesn't live here. She's like somebody's daughter. Um, but it's weird because I just try to be nice and I'm not going to spit on anybody. Liz, how you doing, Queenie? Hi, Princess. Yes, hi. Virtual hugs. That's all I want to do, and that even grosses me out. Okay, one weight. So, squatting, corner, up to the side. Let's go in five seconds. You ready? Up you go if you're laying down. That was your laziness. Oh yeah, I gave you 20 extra seconds. Let's go. Come on. Come on. We gotta hurry up because we got yoga. Yoga. Nice, gentle yoga. Okay, so somebody from my morning workout this morning is texting me right now. They should be doing this workout now with us. Right, Leslie? All right, let's switch sides. Down on one side, up to the other corner. So you do have a choice. We are gonna go through three times. If you feel like just going through twice for you today is enough, you can do that. But I'd like you to stay for three. Three seconds. All right, planks to mountain climbers in three, two, one, go. I'm not talking. I'll just check your form again. You look great. Oh, hi Jerry, you look great. Keep on going, come on. Come on, 20 seconds. Oh my God. You can do it, you can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. And we have lunges, twisting lunges, one weight. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. I didn't think there anybody would be here this morning. I thought everybody would be eating breakfast out somewhere now that we can go back to restaurants. How do you guys feel about that? Because I'm really not there. We don't really eat out that much anyways, but 
I'm not really feeling like I want to do much of that. Plus, if I want to go visit my grandbaby, the kids have said we have to social distance and quarantine for another 14 days before we do it, before we drive up there. Okay, done with the lunges. How about overhead extensions or dips? You decide in three, two, one, triceps. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. And is it okay to just do 45 seconds? Absolutely. But the point is to take a small little break. We're never working the same muscle groups back to back, sort of, at least not isolating the same ones. So you take a little break as you just go to the next exercise. And then you take that two minute break to recover but hopefully your heart rates are up for the 10 or 12 minutes it takes us to go through each set. You have 10 seconds. So getting strength and cardio in your 45 minute boot camp. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Two weights. Squats dips, squats, curls, overhead presses in three, two, one. Down, curl, up on the toes, up, getting way better at clock management, I'd have to say. And I'm getting way better at talking to myself. So are you guys finding that you're stronger? That you're doing things that you didn't do seven or eight weeks ago when we first started this? Anything recognizable that you want to share? After we're done with this set, five seconds. One more, one more. Finish what you're doing. All right, push-ups. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So the thing that I have noticed is when I am doing yoga and I bring my leg forward from down dog up to lunge or warrior two, I used to have to use my arm, my hands to bring my foot forward. And I really don't have to do that anymore. I'm flexible enough and strong enough to bring that foot forward all on its own. So I'm pretty happy about that because I have never in my life done yoga six or seven times a week. Is that bad to admit that a yoga instructor never did yoga that regularly? Probably. So it does actually work more than two or three times a week, but it actually does provide benefits Oh, guess what? We're done. That was a minute. Huh. All right, crouching rows. Up you go. Two weights. Crouch, row. I'll do it from the side this time. Ready? Three, two, one. So step a foot forward, row up, release, step back. Forward, up, down, and back. So alternating and rowing. Your back muscles. Bring your shoulder blades together, but keep your spine nice and long. So don't look at your toes, look in front of your body about three feet, two or three feet. 
halfway there. I think I like the 9.15 time better. We have less time between boot camp and yoga, which is good. Because what are we going to do for 30 minutes? Okay, that's it. Lay down. Russian twists. So, one weight or no weights. Feet up or not. You just twist side to side. If your feet are off, then go. Let's go. If your feet are off, you're going to swivel your lower body opposite of your upper body. So, you would be here with your heels off. Almost halfway, way more than halfway done with our workout. 22 seconds. Ten, seven, three, two, and one. Two minute break. How are we doing? Still good? Oh. All right, take the time to type me something that feels better in your brain, in your body over the last seven or eight weeks. Please, 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 please. Ooh, excellent. My friend Debbie just bought me some gyro meat. Excellent. Ooh, happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. We have a Mexican food tonight. I'm gonna make some refried beans and my Instapot thingy my bobber. One minute. Nobody is typing anything. Seriously, nobody feels stronger. Okay. Oh, come on, Deb. Something feels stronger. Well, you're like an exercise queen anyways. But I know something is getting stronger. And yes, it does help your brain. All right, Kim, that sounds good. But yes, the brain, the brain, the brain. I believe that's actually the most beneficial thing about exercising is what it does for your mental capacity. Your, your gluts, Jane, your gluts. You mean your glutes, your butt feels stronger? All right, mentally stronger, awesome. Okay, yes, I agree, Karen. Okay, you guys ready? Because that's time. Let's go. Last set. We got to hurry. We got to make these minutes go fast. Wood choppers, or I don't really know. They're not really wood chops. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. One weight down to one corner, press it up. Well, I know you guys are mentally making me a better person for my husband because I thought at the beginning of all this, I was gonna go crazy being stuck in the house. And now seriously, I find that I'm enjoying my afternoons of doing my little needlepoint, reading my book. I've read so many books, it's unreal. Switch sides. You know, we're going to have to do a little bit more because I lost track of time. Fifteen seconds. Five, 
Five seconds. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers. In three, two, one. Go. I'm just going to hold plank. Just look straight down. No need to look at the instructor. Just look straight down right in between your fingers. If you want to tap your shoulders, you could do that. Mountain climb with your arms. That's a good way. You got 20 seconds. That's a good way to modify. If your legs are getting tired, you can just be in plank and reach one fingertips to your opposite shoulder. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Up you go. Twisting lunges. In three, two, one, go. So back, core, legs, glutes, or gluts. I like that actually better. Your shoulders holding on to that weight. Your coordination. So your brain again. About 10 seconds. Then we'll only have five more sets to go. Three seconds. All right, one weight, same one you're using, probably overhead extensions. Three, two, one, go. Triceps, keep the elbows as close to your head as possible, so not out to the side. In. It's already 15. If your low back starts to hurt at all, you just hike one foot back as a little kickstand. Twenty seconds. Tall, extend the arms. Bend, extend. You do not need to go fast. A minute is a long time if you haven't realized. Five seconds. All right. Squats, curls, presses. In three, two, one, go. Down, curl, press. Up on your toes is the option. And maybe if you're getting tired, maybe you just do one arm at a time. Maybe you just curl and press one arm. You can do that. Just don't quit. Do not quit entirely. We are stronger than we think. Ten seconds. Five seconds. All right, down on the ground, push ups. In three, two, one, go. Hands wide, chest coming down, right in the same spot that your hands are. 
chest. Exhale as you press up. Feel those chest muscles working by squeezing them. Focus on the chest. You got 20 seconds, less than 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It's crouching rows. Pick up those weights that you just threw down, and in 3, 2, one, go. Last standing exercise. We're going to do a lot at the wall today for yoga. A lot. Because your shoulders are going to be sore. Your legs are going to be sore. And tired. So, lots of fun things today. Make sure you have a pillow of some sort. 15, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Last one. All right, down on your booties. Russian twists. You ready? In three, two, one, go. Notice my talking decreases the more tired I get. That's 20. Two more of that to go. Can you twist deeper? Can you look back behind you a little more? So maybe you're going to slow down to twist a little more. Could you go backwards a little bit more? 20 seconds, half of what you just did, come on, 10, 7, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right, wipe up your sweat, drink something, Alright, the best part, almost the end. Oh, Jack, welcome to the end. Nice of you to hop on. You're here just for the fun part. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to get ready. So, the last part of the workout is your three minute planks three one minute planks. <sighs> yes, Leslie, it does make up for not running. That is for sure. All right. In five seconds, find your plank. You ready? Three, two, one, hold it for one minute. We're going to do three one minute planks with 30 seconds in between. You're breathing, your belly button into your spine. You're looking straight down, eyes open or shut. Big, deep breaths.
20 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one. Take a break. Oh, too many Christmas. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Find your plank. Wherever you want to be. You can be in a hover. You can have a knee down. You can have two knees down. You can be on your hands. doesn't have to be perfect. You just do whatever you can do. You are already halfway there. If you take four more deep breaths, you'll be there. Okay, maybe six or seven. Three, two, one. All right, one more to go. One more to go, one more to go. <sighs> Deb, you need better brains. Is that what that says? I can't see it from way back here, but that's funny. Oh God, we gotta go again right now. One more minute, come on. Up, up, up. How come one minute goes by so slow and 30 seconds goes by so fast? Some sort of time-space continuum, which, oh my God, during the afternoon for 30 minutes every day, my husband watches these videos, the teaching company tapes, and now we're learning about the Bose, the Higgs boson theory or something of particles, something or others. I have no idea, but neutrons, protons, boson, Higgs, something or other, Three, two, one, we're done. All right, nicely done. All right, so what we're gonna do is stretch for maybe two minutes. I'm gonna let you then leave, go to the bathroom, fix your hair, reapply your makeup, do whatever you need to for yoga. Oh my good Lord, let's stretch your shoulders for sure. Cause like I told the group this morning, what else do you got to do? Just work out all morning long. Right? Switch arms. Once you get used to working out all day, then you can apply for a job at MVP when all this gets over. Triceps. Other set of triceps. All right, hands back behind you, thumbs pointing away. So it's gonna get your biceps and your chest. Look up, bring your shoulder blades together. Drop your head down. 
breathe. Come back to center, pull your shoulder blades apart. And then just fold forward just slightly, just enough to feel your calves and your hamstrings. But keep your spine nice and long. All right, cross your right leg over your left as tight as you can. And then just twist to your left. Switch legs, twist to your right. Okay, that's it. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes if you want to come back for yoga. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, again, if you didn't tell me what you feel like is better for you, please tell me because... Um, it just makes me feel better that you guys are getting stronger somehow, some way. And I will see you later. Thanks.